Okay, and we're back here in the Dark Valley. I'm Durin the Hermit, and I'm playing Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, with the Starter Pack 2017 mod. And I'm here in the Dark Valley. I've been assaulting the bandit base. I've already cleared out the courtyard, and I'm about to assault the main structure and get to Borov and take his key. And from there, we could progress with the main part of the story. Ooh, someone's shooting. Who is shooting? Pause one moment here. There we go. I had to turn up my own audio. Turned it down a little earlier, and I forgot to uh, put it back. Okay, so somebody is shooting. I'm not quite, not quite sure who or what they're shooting at. I'm hoping that uh, one of the bandits saw the mutant. Or maybe he knows where I am, and he's shooting at me. Which is your prerogative, bandit. You can go ahead and waste all the am ammo that you like. I'm going to move forward. And uh, start taking out these guys in here. Now they are basically hidden in the corners of the room. So getting a beat on them is tricky. Definitely tricky. Where's that guy? Now they know I'm here. Element of surprise ruined. <laughs> it sparked just crazed gunfire everywhere. Just panic, panic, panic. Now there's a couple guys in that lower hallway. And there's a couple guy, guys on this upper level here. I'm going to take out who I can, but then there's a way for me to sneak in. Let's see if I can spot anyone from here. Doesn't it look like I can. Anyone else down there? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like anyone in easy shooting range, which is fine by me. I don't blame them. I don't want them to make it too easy, so I'm going to sneak around over here. There is a uh, secret, secret uh, entrance in the roof. Let's see if I can spot anyone uh, from uh, this vantage point. Doesn't look like it. Can I see anyone over in those rooms there? And it doesn't look like it. Anybody? That's a negative. That's fine. We're going down. And we're going to, uh, we're going to get up close and personal with this. Kind of wish I had a, uh, silencer. But I'll make do with what I've got. Get low here. Huh. I think it's funny how my instinct is to uh, make my voice go quieter as I'm sneaking around. As if it would have... Ooh, they're aware of me. Maybe they did hear me after all. Right in front of me. Guy downstairs. Let's see if he'll sneak upstairs. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. <laughs> I love hearing them all exclaim in panic. What's going on? See, based on the sound, they kind of have an idea of where I am, but it's not exactly perfect. And Borov is right down there. And 
And there goes Borov, hiding in his office. Let's do a quick save here. Check the bodies. I don't need the loot. Check him as well. <laughs> Stalker physics, everyone. I love how none of these guys had any rounds left in their, their rifles. Oh well, it's just a kind of a game of mechanic to make up for the fact that you just kill hundreds and hundreds of people through this game. There's a ton of loot in here. Not going to get it all yet, though. I'm going to finish off the... Uh, Important parts of the mission. It's loot Borov. Yep. Do do do. Now what else is in here? There's uh, stuff in his stash over there. Medkits over there. I don't really need any more medkits. I definitely do want the armor piercing um, ammo. Um, but just about everything else, I can. I can basically ignore. I don't really want it. Energy drinks, tourist delights. There's ammo in here. Yeah, FMJ rounds. Uh, it's for uh, NATO. It's for a NATO uh, uh, rifle. I have one back at the bar, but I'm not using it right now. I might leave that ammunition here as well. Do -do -do. Oh man, I'll drop off the dart rounds for my shotgun. I don't really use those either. Alright, now we got nine more bandits to uh, brutally slaughter here on my map. And just a whole bunch to loot. Well, I think this might be the first time I don't show much, if any, of the looting. I know I'm doing a little bit as I'm going here, but... <laughs> If they hear a bullet go off and just, it's just panic. So there's where that duty guy wound up. Made his way all the way over here. Got into some good combat. Let's see if one of these is better. Bandage. Anyone in the bathroom? Nope, bathroom is clear. Doesn't look like there's any loot either. Now down here there could be a guy. Anyone out there? Nope. So there's a few guys over down that hallway over there. And there might be another couple hiding in the corners or in that side room. So I'm taking this super slow, super cautiously. Maybe even more so than I have to, but uh, part of the part of the the fun for me is the hunt. Just kind of making my way around without uh, with just minimal contact. Even though I have so many med kits and so many bandages that I can take a beating, really, um, I'm really I just kind of get a kick out of really getting getting the best of these guys. I'm gonna take him out by his legs. One more guy over there. Nice. No loot in the room here. Another quick save that I go. So there's two hallways, upper and a lower. I'll stick with the lower one for now, because I know there's a few guys off in those side rooms. And in this lower level, there's also a, a big bandit storeroom off to, this, off to the left there. These guys off in this room here to the left. Don't see any. Let's see about guys off to the right. Don't see any yet. Nope. 
No one else in here, unless there's a guy hiding behind the desk. Doesn't look like it. Although you never know with these bandits, they can be hiding behind anything. And there's a ton of stuff in here. A ton of vodka, armors, guns, submachine guns, med kits, energy drinks, grenades. I'll be like a kid at Christmas in there soon. Let's go this way again. I started from the top and went down. Now I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. Come on, fellas. Where are you? Oh, the guy's up there. There's definitely someone up there. He caught me by surprise. Well done, bandit. There's a whole bunch of guys way over there. They're just kind of shooting at who knows what. I wonder if the AI moved around while I was uh, saved. Hmm. The guy's over here. I wonder. Anyone in here? Doesn't look like there's anyone in here. Now down in the basement there is a uh, one dutier. I don't know if there are any bandits down here with him. Give me a minute, pal. I can't get out that way. So we're going to sneak around over here. Now being sneaky breaky has been pretty advantageous so far. It's definitely, uh, it definitely keeps them from knowing where I am until I'm really close to them. Of course, they can still kind of hear me through walls, which is a, uh, a weakness of the engine itself. But, uh, you know, we do what we can. Chimney. I'm surrounded by shotguns. There's a guy off to the left, I'm pretty sure. And to the right. I think there's a guy in each of these rooms. He got me good. He got me good. Alright, so there is one more bandit left, and I don't know exactly where he is. Which is fine. I don't need to know. I don't need to know everything. Drop that. There's one more guy. Where is he at? Got some more rifle rounds there. I'm going to loot this guy as well. And more shotgun shells. Those are going to be really help helpful in the lab. I'm going to uh, want every last shell I can I can muster for the when I do get into the lab. It's a lot of lot more mutants in there. Which isn't to say that there's no uh, human opponents. There's plenty of human opponents, but uh, well, you'll see. I don't want to spoil it all yet. Now I heard the other shotgunning coming from over here. So I don't know if one of the other mutants managed to sneak around back behind me when I was moving, or uh, if I just happened to miss a guy who happened to be there and patrolling. I'm not sure. Let's see. Anyone left? Don't look like it. Oh, now there's even more bandits hanging around. Any of them out here? Did any come back into the courtyard? Re respawn, maybe? There was one back here in the courtyard. And so I'm going to assume where there is one, there's another one somewhere.
There he is. Take you down, buddy. Think you can shotgun me? Well, it's not like no bandits have shotgunned me before. <laughs> There we go. I am loaded up on shotgun ammo. I am so good on shotgun ammo. It's kind of ridiculous how good I am on shotgun ammo. So now I'm going to come back here through here. <laughs> oh, wait. There is a stash marker on my map. That's, I came back here also to see if I can get that. And that is... Oh, that's the stash that's up there. Oh, no. It's down here. Nice. A couple more artifacts. And there should be a couple more bandit guys back there, but I'm going to free the duty here first. Free this poor gentleman from duty who's been locked up unfairly, unfairly imprisoned. Hi, buddy. Hey, Stoker, help me out. Open the door to this damn cell. The controls are on the wall. You don't say. Hey, pal, come on out. Thanks, bro. You really helped me. Da, 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 da. Yeah, some kind of lab there, I already know. Uh, can I trade with him? I'm not going to trade anything with him. Good luck, pal. Alright. He should be able to get out of the base okay. If he doesn't, I uh, still at least got the credit for saving him, I think. But, uh, let's come in here. And, uh... I have plenty of ammo for my rifle. I don't need any more. Med kits galore. I will probably be... Yeah. I will probably be coming back here to loot everything. Again. Oh, F1 grenade at least. Plenty more shotgun shells. I don't think I'll need quite that many. Bash these open. I don't need a VOG grenade. Yeah, this is definitely a place I'll be looting off camera. Probably not all the uh <laughs> all the vodka, but I'll definitely be taking a bunch of that good stuff. Alright, so I am just about done here. I don't know why I'm coming around this way again. But uh let's see, I can get an exit over here. That's right. Alright, so you see on my map there's one more contact. I believe there's a bandit somewhere in there. I don't know if he's... Oh, yeah. He's right around the corner, actually. I'll put him out of my misery really quick. Then I'll get that last stash over there. Where did you go? Oh, there he is. Kind of BS that I can't shoot at him as I'm climbing the ladder, but he can shoot at me, but... Oh, well, what are you going to do? Oops. Just drop down, pal. Alright, I'm going to go get that last stash. There it is. A meat chunk, bandages, and an energy drink. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording really quick. I'm going to go, uh, no, you know what? I'm not going to do one of my stupid super looting schemes. I have so much money. I have so much stuff looted already. I have no need for it. And I currently have a ton of artifacts. There we are. On your way out here, you finish the quest. And right under here is a stash. Oh, look at that. Crystal thorn. Oh, I am getting irradiated. Nice. Here we go. I'm out. A quick save before I go. Okay. Looks like things are golden. I'm out. I've escaped. I saved the dutier. And the next part is uh, over in that area. So I'm going to drop off some of my stuff here. Alright, don't 
need that guy, don't need that guy, or those guys, or that guy, or that guy, or that guy, or that guy, or these guys. I might want that guy. But don't need that guy. Um, most of the anti-rods I won't need, most of the energy drinks I won't need, most of the bandages I won't need, but it'll be nice to have a good backup surplus once I reach the surface again. And, uh, I'll keep everything else as it is. Okay, one moment here, I'm going to check my time. Okay, I checked my time. I can go, go a few more minutes. Uh, this initial, this initial assault is actually pretty easy. It's just a few more bandits guarding the area. But I still do want to be careful. I don't want to be too reckless. I say as I sprint up to the front gates. Anyone up front? Doesn't look like there's anyone in the front courtyard yet. They might be patrolling around inside. Oh, there's a guy right here. And they're just shooting in the general direction where they think they heard me. It could be effective because the game does allow for some penetration of thin walls and thin cover. What the hell? Is Screw you, pseudo dog. Holy crap, that scared me. That was a start. My weapon jammed. Don't jam on me, buddy. Got two more left. I can do it. You can do it, Dern. And then there's so many stashes to get in just this one location. Okay, two left, and they're probably going to be in the tightest corners and the most well-guarded nooks and crannies. Of course, I'm just speculating. Walk around the corner and I see, I see one of them just kind of standing there. <laughs> you heard me unload my rifle even before I actually unloaded my rifle. Say what you will about the bandits. They do have some amazing ears. <laughs> Eyes, on the other hand, their, their eyes can use some work. I believe this guy's basically right, uh, right above me. So rather than take forever just to walk up some stairs, I'm going to let him know I'm coming to kill him. Where are you, man? Where are you? Nice. That's how you do it. All bandits killed. I did hear a uh, dog yelling outside. Yelling. <laughs> Barking, maybe. Heard a dog bark. Somewhere outside the complex. Now oh, there's a... Ooh. 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 That's a good stash. Now, there's a few other things to loot around here. And uh, we want to show them off, but first I'm going to get this loot back here. Sound off Taz. I don't know why I picked the silence pistol. I have no need for it. A couple more corpses here. Unload ammo. Durin, if you're going to loot, loot right. Even behind all the valuables, like a sucker. Drop off that guy. Medkit, more shells, bandage. <laughs> Alright, and there was one more guy on here. Alright, that looks like a good setup. There's still that one body underground to look at, but first I'm going to run over here and check out this box. See what sort of goodies I get. Vodka. Vodka. Really? Oh, whatever. 
<laughs> That's the game. Okay. There's another stash way in the corner there. Come get this guy. I believe it's down below. Yeah. Oh, an artifact and some uh, armor piercing 9x18. Useless to me, but whatever. I'll go stash it. Speaking of stashing, I'll go uh, grab a couple more rifles to throw in my stash right outside there. Bust you open. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the shotguns there. They're just not worth the wait. I'm going to drop a bunch of this stuff back. Now, since I heard dogs, I'm going to go more for my anti-mutant weapon here, rather than my anti-people weapon. That's basically the uh, pattern I do. I have one rifle to take out the peeps, one rifle to take out the, or one shotgun to take out the critters. Other than the very beginning of the game, I just don't even bother with pistols. Okay, stupid vodka, I don't need it. I know, stupid vodka, it's blasphemy. Blasphemy, stalker. You need vodka in zone. Uh, drop that. Drop the darts. And I'm looking pr pretty good. I'm actually going to load this guy up. Take out my regular ammo. Because I've got so many armor-piercing rounds now, it's kind of ridiculous. So I'll stick with that for the time being. Uh, my kit is looking pretty lightweight. There's so many shotgun shells. And I'm basically just going to eat them as soon as I get into the lab. Let's go back here and look at a couple more things. A couple more things to look at. Uh, some secret hiding spots. For example, back here is a... Stalker suit. A brand new stalker suit. Mine has been beat up quite significantly. That's actually really handy. Perfect timing. Might have taken a few hits during the uh, the foray into the bandit base, so it's about time for a replacement. I'm going to drop my old one back here because even though it's damaged, that's some. Uh, it's still one of the best uh, amounts of money per unit of weight that you get. There. Good. 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 Start back in here, and there's one more spot I want to look at. I know it's got a uh, good hiding spot. Well, a couple more things I want to look at. Uh, first, let's look over here. Any sort of items to get? Nada. Any boxes to break open? Nothing. Oop, I just ran right into an anomaly. You don't really tell that those are the... Uh, Aren't fuzz anomaly, I think? And uh, it's basically just a, an anomalous plant. Anomalous plant. That uh, sprays some acid or something on you. And uh, it's really just kind of annoying, but uh, the trick with those is as long as you're going by them slow, if you're crouching or walking, uh, they don't hurt you. Of course, that threshold is altered depending on which mod you play versus vanilla or whatever. So up in there, huh, gee, what's in there? Oh, I fell. Gotta do better than that, stalker. Alright, let's see what you are. And I got a whole bunch of armor piercing uh, 9x39 rounds. Useless to me right now, but uh, as I progress in the game, that may wind up being the sort of ammo I prefer at the end. It's either 9x39 or NATO rounds. I'm not entirely sure which which I prefer yet. And uh, of course it always depends on exactly how, how a given mod uh, treats treats the weapon handling. And I'm going to do one more round up in here. And uh, my goodness, what is this? An RPG-7. Say it ain't so. Well, apparently it ain't so, because it's just too heavy to carry. You 
Rather than go all the way back to my stash spot, I'm just gonna bring this over here. Drop it in that. <laughs> this is well. I could always get that later. And the pistol rounds I don't need. And okay. So I look like I'm super decked down. I basically looted all the good stuff there is to loot. There might be a few, couple more items here or there. Probably a med pack or, or who knows. But I'm going to end the video here. When I f next come back, I'll be going into the, uh, the first underground lab. I'm going to save it right down here. So thank you for joining me. Uh, huh, task complete. Thank you for joining me today. I am Durin the Hermit. This is a lot of fun playing Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl with Starter Pack 2017. You have a wonderful day.